In this video, using Apple Motion, we're gonna build a simple crawling title animation. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the project file from this video with some extra bells and whistles and use it inside of Final Cut Pro right now. The first thing we'll do is of course open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can always go up to File, then select New from Project Browser. In the project browser, I'm going to select the final cut title. Then under my resolution, I'll set it to 4K or whatever you typically like to work with in Final Cut Pro, it really doesn't matter. Under my frame rate, I'll set this to whatever I like to edit with normally. And for my duration, I'm going to set it to a ridiculously high number like 600 seconds. This is going to make a lot more sense as we near the end of the tutorial, but just know right now that it's important to set this pretty high. From there, we can go ahead and push open. Now that we're in motion, I'm first going to delete the title background and type text here layers. From there, we'll go ahead and get our title tool and click to add some text. This is a message to inform you that if you subscribe today, you will finally find true happiness. Smiley face. Now that I have everything typed out the way that I want, I'm going to push escape and that will get me out of the title editor. From there, let's go ahead and just drag this over to the left edge about where we want the message to start. It's not super important, but somewhere in there. We can always change this after the fact. Now that we've done that, we need to add some filters to get this to loop around. To do so, let's select the group that contains the title, and I'm actually just gonna call this the offset group. From there, let's go up to our filters, then we'll go down to tiling, and we'll locate the offset filter. With the offset group, you'll notice if I go over to my inspector and we find this horizontal offset, as I drag that value up, you'll notice that the title is actually looping around on itself, which is really, really cool. So all we need to do is automatically animate this to play out every single frame. We just want it to increase a little bit in value. Let's click the down arrow next to horizontal offset. We'll go to add parameter behavior and we're going to select the rate parameter. From there, we can set this to a value of something like negative five. By setting this to a negative, it will be traveling to the left, just like news tickers do. And from there, we can push enter. And pushing play, we should see that our title is slowly scrolling around just like so. Now, you might have noticed a problem though, and that is that our title is ending right here on this right edge. And we actually want it to loop around the entire screen. I came up with a whole bunch of complex workflows to fix this problem. And while they worked, they were way more difficult than they needed to be. And so I finally settled on possibly the simplest solution. And that is to just add a bunch of spaces to your text. So if we go to our text parameters, find our message that we've typed. If I just keep adding in spaces, you'll notice that that space is slowly increasing between the title on the left and right hand side. So we can just keep doing that. You could even copy and paste these spaces. And now we should have this nice looping title with our message, which wraps around on the right hand side. Now there's a few reasons why this version of the title is beneficial. One, we can easily adjust the scale on it, no problem. And that works just fine. We can go ahead and delete the spaces if we find there's too much space between them. But on top of that, we can also add in alternate messages throughout our title. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a bunch of space and then write something like, consider checking out my download on patreon.com slash the final cut bro. And it doesn't matter how long we get with our title, it'll just continue to scroll through the entire message. Again, you'll notice that we have no space between our first message and our last message. So we'll just add in some spaces and there we go, we are set. It's a very rudimentary and simple method, but it gets the job done. And I can't believe how complex I was trying to make this whole video. But what if you wanna spice it up a bit? First, let's come on down here to our rectangle tool and I'll just click and drag over the width of the entire video. Then from there, we can go over to the left side and change the color on it from color over to gradient. And I happen to really like how the blue chrome gradient looks for this particular effect. You could expand the gradient and change these settings to your liking if you want to adjust it a bit, but I really like how the default is looking for this. After that, let's go ahead and rename the group that contains that rectangle to be the background group. And I'm gonna push command and left bracket and that's going to drop it in the layer stack. So notice how the offset group does not have the background. That's super important. 
the background is in its own group, so it's not receiving that offset parameter. So now we have our title scrolling through there, which is looking great. Let's go to our title under appearance and maybe add in a drop shadow. We can expand the distance on that. This will be nice and we'll blur it out a bit. We could go to our format settings, maybe adjust the scale, get it a little bit larger, looking good. And now what if I wanted to add in a logo? Well, that's super simple in motion. I'll just head over to my finder and I'm just gonna drag in this slate graphic I've created and we can place that in the bottom left corner, maybe rotate it, get it looking just like a news channel. And maybe I wanna actually increase the height on everything. So let's take our background and offset group, raise those up a bit. Maybe we can scale down our slate graphic holding shift. And maybe I wanna add some animation to this slate graphic. Let's go to properties, go to position, find the Y parameter, add a parameter behavior to that using that down arrow. We'll oscillate it. Let's set that to a value of maybe 20 at a speed of 15 and see how that looks. That's looking pretty good. And lastly, you'll notice that our title is showing up here on the left-hand side of our graphic. And I actually want it to just completely vanish over there. So to do so, let's find our offset group. We'll get our masking tool and we'll just create a mask that covers both the left and right there. And we can go to the mask settings and drag the feather down. So now it'll soften up here as it gets to that right edge, but it also vanishes when it goes behind our logo. And there you go. We have this beautiful little news ticker that we could send over to Final Cut Pro, which is really incredible. At the beginning of this tutorial, I said we should set this to a ridiculously long duration, like 600 seconds. That is to cover up a lot of looping issues. By setting this really, really long, it's going to allow us to set the speed of our ticker to whatever we want without concerns of it looping in a weird way. It's 600 seconds and let's just scroll on to the very end of our project. I'm gonna push Shift M. That's gonna add that little green marker. We can double click on that marker or right click and select Edit Marker. Then go to our type and change the type from standard over to Project Loop End. So now after 600 seconds, the project will finally loop. This has a few benefits. One, it's going to keep the timing always consistent. Two, this is going to cover up any loops that we might have because it's such a long duration. It's really unlikely you're going to have a 600 second long title in your projects over in Final Cut Pro. But this does introduce a major issue. And that is if I were to drag this from my titles down into Final Cut Pro, it's always going to set it to a ridiculously long time of 10 minutes. So we need to fix that and it's very easy. All we'll do is click on this clock and this clock is informing us how long the project is. So I'm just gonna double click on that and just type in 10, 0, 0. So we have made it 10 seconds in zero frames and I'll push enter. So we just shortened our entire project to just 10 seconds rather than 10 minutes. So this line here is the actual end of the project. That means that we get the benefits of the looping issues by extending it way out to 10 minutes, but it's only going to be 10 seconds when we drag it down under our timeline. So now that we have that in place, make sure you go through and find any parameters that you might want to adjust, like the color of the gradient background. We go to, go to rectangle and publish that. We could go to the rate parameter and publish that as well. So we have options over our speed once we get to Final Cut Pro. And once you are happy, you can push Command S to save slash publish. And we could just call this the crawling title. Throw it into whatever category. I'm going to throw it into my Patreon category. And I'm going to throw it into my titles theme. From there, I'm going to push publish. And so now I have access to this over in Final Cut Pro. So for example, I have this video here. We'll jump over to my titles. We can go to titles here, find the category, FCB's Patreon, and we can locate under crawling title, drag that in. And now we have all of these animations taking place. We can double click on that and retype any message we want here. So be sure to check out my Apple Motion Masterclass, mastermotion5.com and then add in some spaces. And if we push play, we can see how that plays out just like so. It looks like I don't have enough spaces, so I'll just keep adding those in to fill out that space. And there we go. Now we can push play, and it will be looping around it just like so. And that's it. Hopefully, um, hopefully this changed your life. That's the goal. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.